You must have seen a screw. Do you know it is one of the six classical simple machines? Let us see how it works. We will make a model of a screw. For this, we need a triangular paper cut out where one of the angles is a right angle. Make sure the lengths of the perpendicular sides are unequal. A scale, pencil and a screw. Observe this triangular cutout. Isn't it an inclined plane? Now we will make lines parallel to the hypotenuse like this and keep this paper face down on the table. Keep a pencil aligned to the smaller side. Now roll the paper around the pencil. The lines will resemble the thread of the screw. Now tape this paper onto the pencil. Now rotate the pencil and observe the lines on the paper on a screw. These lines are called threads. You will see the lines on the paper are moving up or down depending on the direction of the rotation. This shows the linear direction in which a screw will move when we apply rotational force to it. The linear motion of screw is determined by the direction in which we rotate it. Thus a screw is a solid cylinder around which an inclined plane winds itself either clockwise or anticlockwise. The rotational force we apply at the head of the screw is multiplied and converted to a larger linear force by the inclined plane or the threads around the screw. And this allows screw to pierce through hard objects such as wood. Majority of bottles you will see will have a screw cap lid which is also an example of a screw.